here at the Lakeshore Getaway and we're going to show you everything that it has to offer. It's a phenomenal spot to just come and chill and relax and, for, and it's very family friendly. So let's go and see what the Lakeshore has to offer. So this is like the upper room up here where you can come and just sit and relax. They even have indoor seating for people who don't want to come outside, especially in the evening when it gets a little late. And if you want to come over here and rent somewhere to stay, they have the different lodgings. I think they said they have 12 lodgings here. Um, some of them are bigger and of course some of them are a little bit smaller. And at least it seems like all of them have a beautiful view of the surroundings. So it's what Lelechua Gateway Bush House. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. And you also have to hear the story of the beginnings of Lelechua because, I mean, granted, I'll let the man say it himself, the story, but it started from humble beginnings and it has been able to produce all of this. So, just start. <laughs> and this is one of the cots. So if you have a small baby, they accommodate for it too. It's a desk if you want to do any kind of work. Accommodates perfectly for this. I feel like it's perfect for Mombi. Hey, oops. And of course, actually, I really like this. Considering out of all the times that we've gone to different places, Mombi is always stuck in the bed with us. So I'm happy that this one actually gives you an opportunity to have your own. This is perfect for a couple. Okay. So pretty much, actually you can even find these rooms here in Airbnb, but also WhatsApp, or even just go through their website. But this is one of the rooms. It's actually lovely. I love the artwork, but, well, there's no but. So here is one of the beds, the bathroom. The good thing is you can come and book it through like a bed and breakfast um of course that comes with the one meal you can do the half meal um two meals or you can just get it for covering for they'll just feed you beginning to end breakfast lunch and dinner and the thing that's the best part of course the desk but the best part of this is of course the view is you can you have your own balcony can you imagine just having breakfast coming and sitting down and just looking at this every morning. Um, so we got a chance to see the beautiful Lelechua Gateway and 
pretty much I can show you how it looks like but all that matters is hearing it from the father who did it himself and this is Mwangi he's the director of Leleshwa and he'll pretty much get a chance to let you know how all of this started Oh, just what would you want to say about Leleshwa? I came here 12 years ago mm -hmm. and there was an abandoned house by the goat mm -hmm. and the first task was to renovate that house it took about six months and uh, what I really wanted to do was to, uh, to develop the house into a place where people from the city want to come and hang out. Then during the construction period, a lot of my friends would uh, accompany me on the weekends. And one day in December, just before completion, someone asked me whether they can use the house. So I said, yes, you can use it on condition. If somebody doesn't work, don't call me because uh, it's still work in progress. Then uh, four days later, they called and said, can we be here for another three days? And that's how I declared the place officially open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so it has been a 12-year journey. Then five years later, after the opening, uh, I never used to meet my customers. People would call and uh, send their payments via M-Pesa or pay on location. But then five years later into the business, I came here on a Saturday afternoon and got in touch with my customers. And I looked at them, I realized they are professionals who work. And uh, it occurred to me they want more. They want to building facilities, they want restaurants. They're not here to save money, they're here to have a good time. And uh, which means they're not here to cook. So that's how it started then developing the conference center with a restaurant, bigger washrooms, and a bigger kitchen. So since then, then the project took life of its own. Um, we have a number of employees who are able to do events, we do concerts, we do big weddings, we hold political meetings, and also we have boardrooms for corporate meetings. Yeah. First house? Yes. Was it with the intention to kind of rent it out, or was it to live in it, would you say? Okay. So what I did when I saw for the house for the first time, I fell in love with it. But it was a state of disrepair. I had negotiated some baboons that were staying in there to get out. And then within like the first week of me acquiring the property, my friend came visiting from Stamford, Connecticut. So I showed him the place and asked him, what do you think uh, someone can do with a place such as this? It was very simple. Make it a place you don't want to hang out yourself. If you like it, your friends will like it. So I built it knowing that it's a hangout joint that uh, Kenyans in the city would want to spend time in. We're 25 kilometers from the city, but when you get here, you feel like you're in Masai Mara, Naivasha, or Nanyuki. So it doesn't, that's basically what I was creating. Uh, I keep on saying we had Airbnbs before Airbnbs were a thing. Because you'd call, take the house, cook for yourself. Now, and that concept went on for 10 years. Actually, we stopped doing self-cooking. September last year, when we reopened now with 10 individual rooms, after we repurposed the old house. Yeah. Uh, I think this place, number one, when you're here, you feel like you're very far. But you're only 25 kilometers from the city. This is a place you can actually leave your office at 5 and be here in exactly one hour. So that's not something you're able to achieve then if your meetup point is Naivasha or Nanyuki or Masai Mara. So that's one big advantage that we have. The fact that we bought the National Park also means the experience we have from around 7 p.m. when the hyenas are laughing and the lions are lowering, that's not an experience you find anywhere near the city. So that's one thing that should make people come here. And also this neighborhood of ours, we call it the Grass Rain. Uh, there are a lot of artists also. So it's like an artist's heaven. You know, uh, most of the art you see here has been done within a two kilometer radius by people who have been mentored by older artists and now they have since ventured out on their own. We have Nani Cruz, we have Jimna, Kimani, and um, we have Anzam Cruz uh, of Kitagara Hot Grass. Yeah. Yes. Did you have any plans of expanding this one or maybe branching out in any other places in Nairobi? I already have another facility in Kitagera town. It's called Ozo Oasis. We have a big swimming pool, about 25 meters. So that's still work in progress. We have a lot of improvements to do. But in terms of plans for this location, right now we are 12 rooms and we are looking at adding another 18 rooms by the gorge. And um, those rooms now will be tourist class, they'll be slightly bigger. As, uh, you notice the rooms we have are slightly smaller because we are repurposing an old building. 
but now when you build something from the ground up, then it will be sized properly without the limitations of an existing building. If anybody want to find this place, how yeah. will they be able to find it? Um, uh, four ways. One, just a normal Google search for the Gateway. Uh, and if you do that search, you'll find us on Instagram and Facebook, where we go by the tag Redeshwa Getaway. We also have our website, www.redeshwa.co.ke. Actually, if you just type Redeshwa or Hangouts by Nairobi National Park, we'll pop up because we are aggressive on Facebook and Instagram. If anything, we want to just say thank you very okay. much. We had a great time at Laleshwa Getaway. It was we just had an amazing time. Mombi had fun. Even though she slept for most of it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but we, all we can say is it's a perfect place for a day trip, yeah. a weekend trip. Yeah. They even said they do weddings here. Mm -hmm. Oh, in a fun. Weddings, birthday parties. Conferences. Yes retreats mm -hmm. oh an amazing thing amazing fact that we found out the tables the picnic tables those are what he said 200 years old the wood the wood that was used to make those tables is 200 years old that is amazing yes. it looks phenomenal mm -hmm. and i love facts like that you know that's history being reused again but go check it out go check out the lace for a getaway yes all right on that case we close it now for the night. Until next time, see you guys later. Let me say this one more time too. 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost nothing. Hit the subscribe button down below, you know, and keep it pushing. But anyway, until next time, holla. Bye. Say bye.